Hello. I'm Benito, the giraffe rescued from abuse. But before I share my story, let's go back a few years and remember Modesto, the giraffe who also lived in Ciudad Juarez, in Central Park, and was beloved by the city's residents. Modesto, with over 20 years in Ciudad Juarez, became an iconic figure in Central Park. However, in June 2022, he passed away, leaving the people of Juarez in sorrow. Visits to the park noticeably declined as Modesto was its main attraction. His departure left a void that seemed impossible to fill. Modesto's absence not only affected the city's mood but also led to a significant decrease in visits to Central Park. One moment, please! Our goals in creating this content are to provide 1. Entertainment 2. Reflection 3. Raise Awareness In an effort to revitalize the place and keep the tradition of having a giraffe alive, the Chihuahua state government decided to bring in another specimen. Thus, the idea of welcoming a new member to the Central Park family was born. In May 2023, I, only three years old, arrived at Ciudad Juarez's Central Park from a zoo in Culiacan, Sinaloa. Social media was flooded with images of my journey, a 1,000-kilometer trip that stirred controversy and concern. My presence in the small park sparked outrage due to the conditions in which I was received. The enclosure designated for me in Central Park turned out to be inadequate, a small space without the necessary vegetation or stimuli for a giraffe like me. I found myself alone, without the company of others of my kind, confined to a dusty area with barely a cement shed and a small umbrella to shield me from the sun. Images of my situation went viral, triggering the anger of many people witnessing me endure extreme weather without the necessary conditions for my well-being. I endured scorching heat and excessive cold in the last months of 2023, affecting my health and behavior. Despite the adversities, I grew strong and healthy, learning to adapt to the hostile environment. However, loneliness weighed on me, and my dreams were filled with the hope of having friends and the freedom to run across the savanna. One day, a group of animal rights activists in Horace learned about my story. With determination, they began to denounce my mistreatment, sharing videos on social media exposing the deplorable conditions in which I lived. Outreach grew, and the news spread globally, generating solidarity and demanding a change in my fate. The Safe Benito campaign became a massive movement, with thousands of people demanding my transfer to a safer and more suitable place, emphasizing that my species is endangered. Although authorities in Ciudad Juarez promised to build a new enclosure, progress was slow, jeopardizing my health. Faced with the delay, the activist group took the initiative, and after the proper relocation was authorized by the Federal Attorney for Environmental Protection, PROFIPA, with the support of veterinarians and zoology specialists, they organized a spectacular operation to transport me to my new home. That's why, on January 20, 2024, a caravan of vehicles took me from Ciudad Juarez to Africam Safari, the largest wildlife conservation park in Latin America, located in Puebla. My journey, which lasted over 30 hours, was broadcast live on social media. At Africam Safari, I found a new home with a spacious and well-equipped enclosure, suitable vegetation, and the company of other animals of my kind. I quickly adapted, regaining my joy as I had space to run, play, and interact with my peers. My caregivers at Africam Safari celebrate my progress. I am an example of hope and resilience, an abused and neglected animal who finally found a home where I can live happily and healthily. My story reminds us of the importance of treating all animals with dignity and how the unity of people can achieve significant changes. Ahora sí, desde Africam Safari en Puebla. Después de una larguísima travesía, llegamos a Africam. Benito ya bajó. Son las 4.35 de la mañana. Lo vemos en muy buen estado. Está muy curioso por todos los olores, por las cosas nuevas que hay aquí. Ya comió un poco, ya tomó agua. Lo vemos bastante bien. Eh, va a estar aquí eh, hoy y mañana y va a salir al campo para poder acercarse con los otros animales, las otras jirafas y empezar a socializar. Eh, esta es una habitación especialmente diseñada para jirafas, donde podemos hacer cualquier manejo eh, médico, cualquier manejo zootécnico. Son instalaciones con calefacción, con aire acondicionado. Eh, con poleas aéreas por si tenemos que hacer una anestesia le ponemos un arnés y lo podemos levantar eh, tiene distintos tipos de sustrato tiene paja, tiene arena, tiene viruta para que él escoja cuál es el tipo de, de cama en la que quiere estar está muy bien, ya, empezado, ya empezó a tener contacto con los cuidados no olvides seguirnos en eventos y eventos gracias